Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online. We have to remember and capture our old dealerships wherever we can, and this one behind me will simply blow you away. Join me as the clock winds back in this week's Classic Restos on the Road. Today it's Lishke Motors in Walla Walla, New South Wales. Walla Walla is about 40 kilometres north of Albury Wodonga and 130 kilometres south of Wagga Wagga. Only around 600 people live here these days and was established in 1869 when 56 settlers of German extraction moved from their home in the Barossa Valley of South Australia in the search for farming land. The Lischke family is proud of being able to claim Walla Walla's oldest family business. There's a long story of family heritage and tradition here, one that would make any family stand proud and foremost. But cutting through many early years prior, in 1923 the business started as D. E. Lischke Walla Walla Motor Garage, specialising in all types of motor and cycle repairs. He was also a sub-agent for Fred Blacklock and sold Ford Model Ts and of course any other vehicle he could get his hands onto. Let's face it, a sale is a sale and if it's not in stock you cannot sell it. In 1926 he was appointed the Whippet Overlander dealer in Walla Walla District. He was also able to procure dealer selling rights for Essex and Willys night vehicles. Over the decades, the amount of Holdens that sold through this place would fill huge sheds all over Australia. Just imagine when Mr Brown took delivery of his brand new FX and drove it away. Or Mrs Anderson took delivery of her dusty pink EK. These are the thoughts from us and the memories the people have that worked here. There's something about our old dealerships, almost the Route 66 locations of Australia, if we could only wind back time. Today, Lischke Motors employ seven mechanical staff. There's a combined 148 years of mechanical experience on all different types of vehicles, ranging from hatchbacks through to school buses. Last year, the Lischke success continues as over 4,000 repair orders for service and repair work on vehicles were generated. How cool is this? Right here we have the retired Holden dealer principal of Lischke Motors here in Walla. How are you, Cecil? Real well, thanks, Fletch. Uh, pleased that you were able to come up to Walla and... Uh and we were able to enjoy a bit of a conversation out in the beautiful sunshine. This is just, this is superb. This is really, this is what is left. This is the tradition, the heritage. It's everything that your whole family has stood for. Yes, uh, it certainly has been. As far as we were concerned, motor cars was our livelihood from go to woe. Yeah. And we know nothing else other than motor vehicles or four wheels, and that's from day one. And to think that your father started here in 1923, correct? Dad started in the 1st of January 1923 as a sub-agent for Ford T, if I might say so. <laughs> and uh... We look at this beautiful building here, Cecil. Now, we're standing outside the original part from 1923. We've got the newest, well, a newer edition over there. In 1955, we in actual fact, remodelled and then again in when when the General Motors uh, when we had to was uh, stand, uh, comply with General Motors uh, uh, policies we had to rebuild again to this extent and that's that's a lot but there's numerous building programs have taken on over the years. How do you feel standing outside the original building that belonged to your dad? Well, I, I feel very elated, very proud, and uh, I believe 
that uh, the family uh, is certainly uh, carrying on the tradition as, as well as anybody could expect them to, to do. When you look back over the decades, what would have been your favourite time with Holden? I started off in the business when the Holden was uh, launched in uh, October 48. Uh, I started here and I would suggest that those early years of Holden were the most exciting years that I've ever had in the motor business. Not only from a, having a waiting list uh, two years long and not even having to sell a car, but uh, also from the, from the excitement of having an Australian built motor car. Uh, football, meat pies, kangaroos and holding cars and I've still got the record. <laughs> it's a little bit unusual to have a policeman because we've always only, she's always only been a one policeman town. Now that policeman uh, was erected there by, made by my father in 1924 and erected on the original veranda post on the corner. Uh, he stayed there for many a long year until we decided to rebuild in the 1950s. We uh, put him on a pole right on the corner, however, and he suffered a bit of a setback and in that a transport come a little close to him and, and took his arm off. The actual transport that did that didn't stop, so he, he never got a blister uh, of any sort, but he got away with it. But I will be uh, remodelling an arm, a, a nine, uh, 2021 arm for him and put him up there and rest assured, you go through Walla, he'll be on the job. <laughs>
it's got everything going for it, this place. Yeah, Flex, we love that retro feel. <laughs> Absolutely. Nothing like a retro feel in there in the 1979 orange toilet suite. Um, now, into the showroom here, we've, we've, we've got some, some nice cars here. Uh, something straight out of the box, first of all. The old Whippet here. What can you tell us about that? 1927 Whippet, and it's a very unique to us because it's one of the cars that were sold through this dealership, yeah. So it was restored in Geelong, and um, the gentleman that restored the vehicle gave us a buzz and said, would you like to buy it back? And um, that was a no-brainer for us. Originally sold here uh, back in the day, had a life in Geelong and ha hung around Not Geelong, sure. did it all? No, the, the gentleman that ended up with it in Geelong, he bought it around here. It was actually a chicken coop as far as the story that I've heard. It was in a chicken, chicken yard as used as a coop, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was obviously in a very bad state of repairs, but uh, went to Geelong and was restored. The guy, he must, he must have been in a foul mood. <laughs> the VH here. Yes. How cool is that? Yeah, beautiful car. VH um, Group Two. Um, yeah, we we that was a trade in, and uh, we decided to keep that vehicle. And um, very very uh, lovely car to drive. Beautiful car to yeah, drive. You were saying earlier uh, yeah. with a few of the Brock enhancements and uh, how good these cars were. Yeah, no, it sits on the road beautifully, and um, yeah, Brocky done a magic job to get that 253 to get it, get it up and boogie, yeah. The VH, it was a good Commodore, wasn't it? A beautiful car, yes, yeah. Okay, Anthony, the VL Group A, what's the story there? Again, that was a trade-in we decided to keep, yeah. <laughs> nice car. Sell many cars at all, or you just kept them all? <laughs> <laughs> we, we... <laughs> Get on your flex. Um, yeah, no, we, we sold... You, you guys, I know, you, you rely on parts and service, don't you? Ah, uh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, parts and service has certainly been a strong side of the yeah. business for us. And, um, um, but see, this is passion, though, because it's not just, it's not just, yeah, get the car in, get it out, get it in, get it out. You, you've obviously, over the years, you've, you've become uh, passionate to the car's to have kept and isn't it yes, isn't correct. it isn't yeah, it good yeah, now you've yeah, done that yeah no now we, we could see you know like a limited uh, build car type thing we could see the value in it back then so and obviously if you look what's happened now um we, we you know sometimes you're lucky with the decisions you make yes could have easily gone the other way and of course the two vfs over the back there the two green cars looking beautiful sitting there yeah, yeah, again, one's a motorsport. That motorsport is build number 414, which is our dealer code. Um, we were able to choose that particular build number and we were quite happy to um, get the 414. And, of course, over the back, the FJ. Yeah, the FJ, beautiful car. That's a 1956 FJ, so Dad has told me it's got the two-tone interior, so it makes it a 56. And Cecil's not going to get rid of that. No. No, we'll, we'll hang on to that one too, yes. <laughs> Good on you. Anthony, thanks for your time here today. It's been wonderful catching up with you. This is the guy that uh, first contacted to organise today. And, of course, his dad, Cecil, um, has come in for the day. And uh, I want to thank you for your time, Anthony. It's been wonderful catching up with you. It's the sort of guy you could talk to for, um, for a long time. And while I've been here too, local people call in here and talk to these guys. And you, you're such a, a big part of uh, this small town of Walla Walla. And uh, you're just far enough away north of Albury. Um, it's a nice part of the world. You're in a, you're in a great spot. Beautiful part of the world, and um, with the season we're having, it just doesn't get much better than this, Flex. With the uh, you know the farmers, uh, it's just been a beautiful season last year, and it's starting off to be a ripper of a season this year too. So, very, very lucky and blessed. Yes. Good on you, Anthony. Thanks again, mate. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Flex. You're welcome. Thank you. Workshops go back a long way here, and now a golden opportunity for Cecil Leschke to share just a little about one part of the workshop that was first in operation back in 1923. It's certainly given me a sentimental feeling. I worked in here with, with my father for quite a number of years, for actually for 17 years and, until his death. We had no hoists, we had pits here. We worked in here, gearboxes, uh, engines, ev the, the whole thing. But I can remember re-ringing motor cars, re-ringing Ford T's even in here. Essex, Overland, Whippet, Willys, Knight, Oakland, Rugby, all those cars we, we 
used to over yes recondition engines one thing we always tried to do was have one or two apprentices we felt that was the backbone of the industry and in so doing uh, we did uh, keep uh, the, the uh, me mechanical skills in the area. My dad was a very humble, gentle, loving father. I, I could not have wished for, for a nicer and a more loving father and mother for that matter. And that in life to me meant a lot and I think that helps to frame a young person for the rest of his life. And I, I'm so thrilled to have to be able to say that. Cecil, there's no doubt about it. You're a, you're a, a true Holden legend. And I appreciate the time that you've given us here today. And it's been a pleasure to feature just a little of Lishki here at, at Walla Walla. And it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. May I wish to, in, in answer to your remarks, thank Classic Restos for the patience, for giving us of their time and for looking, looking into our family history. We are very proud of our family history and I believe that, uh, that Classic Restos has, has certainly gone to great lengths to make it exactly as we, as the Lischke family, would like. Again, let me thank you, Classic Resto. Again, that's our pleasure. Thank you, Cecil. Thank you. Good on you. Are you a motoring enthusiast? Does your current insurer understand your passion? At Shannon's, we're motoring enthusiasts, just like you. We understand the passion you have for your special car or bike. But did you know that Shannon's will also ensure your daily drive, the car you drive every day? So if you're a motoring enthusiast, you've got to be with Shannon's. So call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. They may not be making the classic Holden anymore, but the legacy lives on. You can still have a Holden certified service using genuine Holden and AC Delco quality parts at over 180 centres across Australia. Go to holden.com.au to find your nearest centre. Book your Holden in, maintain the pride. Got a classic? Got to be insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646 and have a discussion as to the policy and premium that may suit you best. And signing up to become a member of the Shannon's Club has never been easier. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. And when you travel the Hume Freeway from Sydney to Melbourne or vice versa, most people know about the township of Holbrook, famous for the Otway Submarine, the Holbrook Bakery and Lischke Motors, an old school Holden Legends dealership. Moving on through this very special episode of Classic Restos and having just done the drive from Walla Walla over to Holbrook here in New South Wales. How are you David Lischke? Real good thanks Fletch and it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you mate, thank you. You know over 14 or 15 years, probably even more, I think there would not have been one time where I've come through Holbrook and I haven't slowed down on my way to Melbourne or Victoria and looked left just to see what is lurking behind the glass here at Leshke. Yeah, we've got a few decent cars hanging around here, a few good Holdens, and um, we're proud of them and um, we like to display them. David, it's the atmosphere. We're standing outside of an original old building here in Holbrook. It used to be a service station with pumps out the front, right? Yeah, we used to have two pumps out the front there, tanks in the ground here and amenities out the side, out the back there. And what year are we looking at when this building came about? Approximately 1923 from what we can um, derive from history there. So that's about exactly the same time as the building over at Walla Walla? Yeah, that is correct there, yeah. Isn't there something about this? It's this, this country atmosphere and obviously representing Holden for so long. So how long have you been associated with the brand, David? Well, all my life I've been born into a Holden family and we started here in 1982 up at Holbrook here. I came from Walla Walla at our other dealership over there where the, my Anthony and Kim are over there and my father Cecil. Unbelievable. And to think that this 
dealership here, just over there, that used to be your bedroom once upon a time. Yeah, when I first came here, yeah, I used to live on the premises here, there. God lives in his own Holden dealership. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? <laughs> yeah, oh, it was pretty hard work when we originally started. We were doing the 24-hour NRMA service as well there. This is the real Route 66 of Australia through here, isn't it? That is correct there, yes. Yeah. When you come to Holbrook, of course, the submarine, the bakery, you've got to call in and see this guy here. Um, on that note, David, people that do just stop and or even slow down to try and look through the glass, we've got the beautiful HK Monaro there, uh, the last of the VF Commodore. Do you notice that? Do a lot of cars actually stop pretty well in the, in the main street and have a look? A lot of people stop here and actually get photos taken out the front and I'll be here after hours and I'll see people stop in like restored Holdens or truck drivers coming through that are carting Holdens or people who just have want to look at Holdens and that and they certainly stop here, have a look and I'll open the door a lot of the times even after hours and let the people come in and just have a quick chat to them and make them welcome there and yeah there's a lot of that happens there. That's just so nice, David. Yeah, well, I like to be like make people say welcome in best place in Australia. That's our book. You love it, don't you? Yeah, definitely. This Monaro here we've got over here, absolutely beautiful original vehicle. There, it's only done seventeen thousand miles, and we do say it's only got one owner, but um, it's not a hundred percent correct. A bloke bought it and he ran into trouble with finance there after about three or six months of ownership. And he let somebody else take over the ownership of the vehicle there. And he was the owner of that vehicle then for 50 odd years. So it's been in the one family for 50 odd years and then we purchased it off the family there at that time there. It's one of the first three months production and it's a Bathurst edition HK and it's 100% uh, genuine, except for the fact it hasn't got the original wheels on it right now. We are chasing those up there. It hasn't got an owner's manual in it, and it's been repainted once, like in the original colour, but um, everything else is like 100% original otherwise there. So it's got the original 327, like Chev V8 in it there, goes really hard with a four-speed Muncie gearbox in it there. So we're really proud to own this vehicle and we're the guardians of this vehicle. We absolutely love it. We're, we invite anybody when they're coming through Holbrook to stop in front of the dealership and have a look through the windows or come in and have a look at the car. It's always available for inspection. We've also got Oh, a lot of other cars to actually have a look at around the dealership and we've got a beautiful VF Motorsport brand new sitting in the showroom here presently and um, we've got a new Caprice out the front there that sits in the showroom too there. We're down in the workshop here and this is a part I love. This is where I grew up, this is what I was taught. I learnt with Holden, I absolutely love Holden. I've got, I'm so passionate about Holden's there. We can look after your Holden. We know Holden's better than anybody. There's over 200 dealers or 200 certified service centres still in Australia there. And we can look after and service your Holden. I take pride in my workshop and over at Walla there, we take pride in our service. That's it. Our service motto is by service we grow. That's where we grew up. That's what we learnt and that's what we know. I left school as soon as, as soon as I could so as I could get into the workshop and start fixing Holdens. We can still do that today and we can do that into the future. Nobody knows Holdens better than what we do. We're 100% proud to be Holden associated there. That's our life and we want to service your Holden there. Right. Okay, David, so did you have fun today? Had a wonderful time there, yep. It was a wonderful opportunity to catch up with you. Yeah, no, it's great to have you down here and uh, um, promote the Holden brand and tell you how passionate we are about it. And I'm sure that there's millions of viewers out in Australia there. Oh, I don't know about millions, but there's 
thousands of viewers out in Australia who absolutely love the um, Holden product, are passionate about the Holden product, and that's what we're here for, and we want to promote it. And we're still here, we're still in business, and we're still going very strong there. I think there's a lot of respect right across a, a lot of brands, but there's so much heritage with this one. Oh, definitely. Holden's been like Australia's icon for many, many, many years and for all of my generation and that there, and um, we're still here for a long time yet. Well, there's no doubt about it, David. You are a dead set Holden legend, mate, so because of that, you better take this cap. Limited edition Holden Legends by Holden. There you go, mate. Please. Thank you very, very, very much, and um, Holden's live forever there. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> well, how cool was that? If that is not dedicated enthusiasm, well then nothing is. The team at Lishke Motors at Walla Walla and here in Holbrook, New South Wales. I hope you really enjoyed this week's show. And until next week, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannons, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannons Club, your local Holden certified service centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online.